Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on the Hey Bros YouTube channel. I'm Sam. I'm Henry. And we got see a little sports today. We got three segments we're going to do. We're going to start off with sports and the news this week. Then we're going to move on uh, to guest that NFL player. And we're going to finish off with our NFL game of the week, which is going to be the Buccaneers versus Rams game. It's going to be a fantastic game. We believe we're going to kind of break it down a little bit, talk about it, give our predictions, all that jazz. And uh, that's just about it, folks. Let's get into it. All right, folks, uh, let's let's talk about sports news this week. I want to start off with Justin Fields. Justin Fields is going to have his first ever start this week, I believe, against... The, you don't know. We do the, not know, but yeah, listen. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me look at uh, Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Talk, so, talk about Fields real quick. So, firstly, I feel like Fields has overall always been a good quarterback, but he's always been at that... He's only been number. in the league for three weeks. I'm talking about college. Okay. 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 He's if you know what I mean. He's always been the little brother. He's but no no the middle child. He's always kind of been forgotten about. Heisman votings always come number two. So what I'm for, really for saying for a reason because yes. he's never the best. Yes, but I really do feel like and the only reason why is and also he was, he in was the, only in the Heisman. The only voting. reason why is because he was in the shadow of Trevor Lawrence. So I feel like really yeah, well being, jo uh, Joe Burrow. This, I really feel really like being it. in this. I feel like some key points here. I feel like do it. I dare you. <laughs> do it. No, do it. You know, I like my life though. So. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So Sam's a little exhausted from punching me. Am but, I? Am I? Because I can go again. Uh, I don't think you can though. Okay. Anyways, continue. All right. So basically, I really do feel like he has the talent in. I feel like all he needs now is just some NFL exposure. Look, love Justin Fields. He's going to um, do great in the NFL. But I really don't want this to be the way that Andy Dalton ends his career. By, you know, getting injured. Dude, you, know. you can't be so sentimental about that. If he's got to go, he's got to go. And it's whoa, whoa, whoa. No, he's injured. That's why Fields is going Yeah, injured. I know. If he's got to go, he's got to go. No, but he doesn't have to go. I'm just all I'm saying is that like I really don't want this to be so you're saying the way that Dalton loses his job. If That's Dalton all. comes back out of injury, you think he'll start again? If Fields just plays okay, yeah. Is Dalton's really he okay at this point in his career. He played some great seasons, but he's really just okay in this, at this point in his career. Now let's talk about the second thing that we're gonna talk about. All right. This just happened about forty five minutes ago. We Christian we're McCaffrey. Filming, we're filming this Thursday night. So, we, obviously, Thursday night football is going on. Texans versus Panthers uh, at the Texans Stadium. And Christian McCaffrey just got ruled out of the game with a hamstring injury. Uh, if, you're, if, you're a fantasy, if you're a fantasy owner right now, you're crying. You're crying yourself. Because you just lost your fantasy. I have a friend uh, in my league who is one of my closest friends, and he's got Christian McCaffrey. That man is crying himself to sleep tonight. Because he was like, oh, he's going to have a field day for his day. Like, he was talking him up today. He was like, oh, man, McCaffrey's playing the Texas. That's going to be a big point game. And I agree with him. I was like, yeah, it's going to be like a 40-point game. It's going to go off. And he just had a hamstring injury pretty early. So, I, this probably only a, at most, four-week uh, injury. How do you, you don't know anything about that. No, I'm just saying, if I were to estimate. Whoa, well, okay, okay, okay. If you I were to what? estimate. How, how long, you know what? How long does the average marriage last? Hmm. Some, <laughs> someone's worried about Why? that, clearly. <laughs> uh, how long does the average hamstring injury last? Three to eight weeks. So that's what I was saying, three to four weeks. Yeah, three to, three to four weeks is the exact same as three no, to eight weeks. No, but I feel like I, I don't think it's going to be terrible. Yeah, all right. But anyways, that's huge for the, both for the Panthers and for fantasy owners. So we just want to kind of talk about that because uh, yeah. that's pretty big. 
Um, but not much else flying around in the league right now. Everybody's kind of just kind of chilling going into week three. But those were some two pretty the, Those were two pretty, two pretty important things going on. But, uh, yeah, that's just about it. Let's yeah, do guess that. that yeah, what, NFL what, player, what, guess. Let's do guess that NFL player. Okay, folks, uh, guess that NFL player. I am guessing first. Let's just hop right into it. So right. let's go three, two, one. Uh, NFC, AFC. Uh, you got to guess one. Oh, right. <laughs> You got me that time. <laughs> yeah. I'm restarting because I just had to take a minute and say that I dog hunt him all the time. I'm like, because he's always like, AFC, AFC, offense, defense. And I'm like, you have to choose one. And I say yes or no. Don't really I, matter. I, but... I always dog on him for it. And I, I just messed up. So I would like to respect. Fine. Okay. That was a little aggressive. Uh, excuse excuse me a little bit. Are you, are we, I don't know if you're even in frame. You might have not been in frame the entire time. That's what I bet I was, though. If you're not, we're not restarting. It should be now. You may, we can put a cardboard cut out of you. Yeah. We can edit it in like yeah. right here. Anyways, point being, um, three, two, one, go. Uh, AFC. Yep. AFC North. Nope. AFC South. Yep. Uh, Titans. Nope. Colts. Nope. Texans. Yep. Offense. Yep. Quarterback. Yep. Deshaun Watson. No. Uh, uh, Tyra Taylor. Nope. Oh, it's their, it's their quarterback <laughs> that's playing today, you dirty dog. That's not fun. That's not funny. Oh, his, his last name is Moore. No. No, it's... it's oh. Wilson. No, it starts with an M. Yes? His yes, last name. Yes. Miller. No. <clears throat> Nilsson? His <laughs> name is Nilsson. <laughs> I'm, I'm stopping the timer. Oh, my gosh. Um, I <laughs> stop. Uh, this is not cool. Like this at is all. cool. Uh, you and and know you know this. why? It's because I should not know this. Is, he's playing his first start tonight. Yes, but he's There's starting. A minute. How should Davis I know that? Mills. Davis Mills. Davis Mills. I'm. I. I want. Okay. Everyone who's watching this video right now and is still watching at this point, I want, yeah, you, to go, I want you to go. I don't care. I want you to go comment and flame this kid for picking a quarterback who's never started a game. It's like no, we're playing an NFL snap in his life. I can do Justin just Fields play, and NBA. Just play the first game in his life tonight. I want you to go roast this man. Uh, that, you're in describing the Justin Fields. But Justin Fields <laughs> is a first round pick. He's an undraft D who nobody knows. All right, go. Oh. He's can't deal salty. with this kid. You know, yeah, I'm salty. All right, I'm. Uh, you're guessing. Three, two, one. AFC. Uh, no. NFC. Obviously. Yeah. NFC South. No. NFC West. No. NFC East. No. NFC North. Yes. Uh. You don't remember who's in the AFC North the, or in the NFC North? Uh, the, Green Bay Packers. No. Um, are they in there? Yes. I feel so smart. Um, I don't know. You, I don't you've know. already wasted. I don't know. Okay, don't know. uh, Lions. It's okay. the Lions. Lions. Uh, DeAndre Swift. <laughs> I'm done. I quit. I quit. I, you cannot make this up. <laughs> it is not fair that he picks the the Texans' third string quarterback who's, who nobody has ever heard of. And then I pick DeAndre Swift. Bro. I'm done. I quit. Yeah, he's not smart. <laughs> I, uh, look, you picked the Texans' third string quarterback who no, no one has ever heard of until tonight. Yeah, I and, did. And I picked their start, the Lions starting running back who was a first-round pick. That was such an easy A guess. year ago. Like, okay, f fair enough. But at the same time, I thought your pick or your guess might be, have been a little easier. Just a little. Me, 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 me. All right, what's that? Whoa, let's... don't imitate me. All right, you know, let's just talk about the Bucks Rams game. Let, let's go. Okay, Bucks Rams game. Wait, wait, wait. On a scale from one to ten, how pissed that are you? <laughs> actually, actually. I, did, I did it to him again. I'm not even afraid. I'm not even. I'm not even. I'm not. I don't feel any regret. I don't feel any guilt. You know why? Because he deserved it. No guilt. Don't look back. Don't don't falter on your on your decisions. Be, be decisive. It's always good in life. For example, like this. <laughs> be decisive. That was a love tap. That wasn't even that hard that time. I kind of want to do it. <laughs> all right, all right. We okay. got focus. All right, focus. Right, right, Stop. Don't. No. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Anyway, can we please get there? Can we get there? Can we talk about the Bucks-Rams game? The game of the week? 
Matt Stafford on his new team, he's 2-0. and He's 2-0, and man. He's going up against Tom Brady and the Buccaneers, who are also 2-0. It's the best game of the week, man. We got to talk about it. Tom Brady, he's old. He's 44. But he's playing. Oh, but he's playing. Did, did, did you say Tom Brady? Sit down. Get, are those are my sunglasses. Put those down. I can't even have a serious. I'm trying. I can't even have one serious. I can't imitating Tom Brady on a Sunday afternoon. I can't even have one serious segment. All I want is one serious segment, and I can't have that. Okay. Anyways, Bucks versus Rams. Oh my gosh. Mm. <laughs> All right, go, go. Bucks versus Rams. You've got Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford is a fantastic quarterback. He's at the helm over there. Their run game, a little short, a little shy. But I feel like pass the game, though, game is. Pass game is on point. Now, running back game, they have Cam Akers. I love Cam Akers. I think he's great. So, they, you know, maybe they'll be fine. O line is great over there. All that jazz. Defense is number one in the league. By a good bit, really? they've got oh easily. Oh, Ram, yeah, Ramsey. Yeah, Donald. yeah, Ramsey, Donald, all those, all the John, John, all those guys. Now on the Buccaneers side, they're an underrated team. Uh, Buccaneers have a top five, a, a probably the best offense in the NFL, maybe behind the Chiefs, but they also have probably a top five, top seven defense. So that that's what makes them so lethal, and they're good in the trenches too. They have a great offensive linemen. They so, do. That, so I mean, without how, good offensive linemen, uh, Tom Brady was out of the league yesterday. Very funny. Um, but listen, the, look. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. Rams are going to have to rely on their pass game. There's a reason the Bucks have the best rush defense in the NFL. So. There's, it's going to be a lot of passing. It could be a shootout. It could end up being a shootout. I think it's entirely possible. I think it'll be more of a strategic game of just cat and mouse, of just Brady and uh, uh, Stafford going back and forth, drive for drive, just back and forth, and just marching down the field every time. Uh, and, and look, Brady's going to have some pressure tonight. He hasn't really had a, like a, an opponent that's really going to give him pressure yet. He kind of had it maybe with Micah Parsons uh, with – the Cowboys, and then they played Atlanta in week two. He really hasn't had any guys that are going to get after him. Aaron Donald will get after him, and he will get after him fast. Not only that, but those fast linebackers on that Rams team will get after and press Brady all day long. So you know what? My prediction is the Rams tonight, or not tonight, but this weekend, I'm picking the Rams over the Buccaneers. I think the Rams have the better team. Henry, why don't you 31, give you two-piece here? 31-35. Well, I'll, I'll talk about what I know. I just want to say this first to clear the air. Okay. 31-35. Buccaneers. Buccaneers. Buccaneers? Okay, talk about it. All right. So, first of all, I feel like Rams, my, I could easily be wrong. I feel like, but if I am wrong, I feel like the scores will be flipped. So, I really feel like this game can go either way. Two very great teams who have been, I, I mean, really... We all have to agree we're all rooting for the Rams because who cares about Tom Brady and the Buccaneers? Hey, whoa. So, I mean, have you ever made a Buccaneers fan in your life? No, please continue. Exactly. Um, so, uh, basically, I'm just saying, right now I feel like the whole connection with Stafford on the Rams is just building. And I feel like that is huge for their it, team. It definitely feels like there's some big teams. And I feel like that quarterback swap was very necessary. Like, I, Jared Goff sucks. But uh, right now he is. He does. I, I, I don't know why I made right, this face. I don't know why I made this face. He does suck. All right. Um, so, basically, what I am saying is Tampa good? Lions good. They're not good playing the Lions. Game. I take that, 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 you did too. Rams good. All right, and what's that? Well, I got to get my prediction. Rams win 38. 38. No, too much scoring. Wow, he's Let me think gone. about this. Shh, shh, shh. I'm thinking 27-24, Rams come out on top. Sue me. Sue me. Rams come out on top. Actually, you know what? 30, 30 to 24. 30 to 24, final prediction. Final, final prediction, 30 to 24. Uh, uh, Rams take home the cake. Folks, with that, thank you for watching. You stuck to the end of the video. That's awesome. We appreciate that. And uh, with hey. that being said, Henry, all yours. See you next time.